You know, I love the stories where you hear that someone's going through a difficulty. It doesn't matter what it is uh, as far as being a physical or emotional or, 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 or some other disability of the heart. Um, you know, you don't have to be in a wheelchair to know what pain is. Does that make sense? We, we all go through brokenness. We all go through fear. We all go through times of being alone. Uh, but I believe that everyone has a story to share and can be a miracle for someone else. Uh, I've actually now met 30 people with no arms, no legs, and of course now they're encouraged to know that if Nick can do it, then I can do it. But I don't know what anyone's gone through. Maybe you, I don't know what you've gone through, I don't know what the camera person has gone through, but you all can also you know, share your story with someone else who's maybe going through the same situation to let them know that, hey, I was once there as well, I was also scared and alone, but I got through it, you can too. You know, as I look at my own relationship with my father, I now compare it with my coming relationship and growing relationship with my two-year-old son. Uh, Kiyoshi is growing very, very fast. Um, and I know he's going to have questions in life. And we're actually really looking forward to homeschooling him so he can travel with us. He travels a lot already. He's done already 45 flights. And I want him to experience life. I, I want him to not just see me as a father or a daddy, but I want him to see me as one of his friends. Um, I'm always going to do what my dad did for me as far as showing that affection and affirmation that I love him, that I'm there with him, that I want him to feel like he can share with me anything. And maybe there'll be a time where he might think that dad's not cool enough. But, you know, I'll, I'm going to do everything that I can to be the best father I can be, the best husband I can be. And I'm going to make sure that today I'm doing better than yesterday. There are always ups and downs to life and uh, you know, I'm not immune from ever being scared or sad or afraid of, of different circumstances at times. But I always reflect back to, first of all, uh, the previous chapters of barriers and obstacles that I've been through and how I did overcome them before, um, you know, with the love of my family, uh, that it's not about what's happening to me, it's how we're going to get through it together. I actually went through a financial crisis in January 2011. And uh, it was very, very difficult for me. I went through panic attacks and, and a bit of depression as well. Uh, you know, in our life, we can either be angry for what we don't have or be thankful for what we do have. And in the end, all we can do is our best. And if I can just do my best with the love and help of my family, we'll get through anything. You know, unfortunately, in this world of 7 billion people, there are a small portion of population around the world who not only have uh, personal issues, uh, but have, uh, unfortunately, political um, or, or personal motives for different things. Um, that, that does result in violence and murder um, and corruption. Um, and unfortunately, this world uh, may not get any better fast. Uh, but I, I, I do want to encourage the next generation that there is always going to be evil in the world. But what I'm trying to inspire into the next generation is instilling with them and within them a passion to really do good on a big scale. So the evil scale will always get bigger, unfortunately. But where's the good? There's always bad news out there, but let's show more good news out there too. There are many people who I've met along the way who are doing inspirational, incredible things all around the world that we're featuring in the Attitude Altitude magazine. And I just want everyone to know that with the power of the internet, the people who want to do good, who want to change the world, can actually now do it. My goal is for people to understand that if we could just get 400 million teenagers to give a dollar a day, we could probably end world hunger pretty fast. So there's a lot of bad out there, but there's still a lot of good. Let's show and showcase that good. Happy SG50. Love you so much. Thank you, Singapore, for loving me. I love you. And please know that I'm a brother by your side, helping you to dream big and never giving up. Thank you, Singapore. And hey, I'm excited about your future. And I look forward to coming back many, many more times. Bye-bye.